Well, hey everybody, welcome to Inside Ingles. I'm Jonathan Brandon with Ingles Shipbuilding, and this is your inside look at the people, community, and legacy that make Ingles Shipbuilding so special. We are very excited about this series. One of our very first guests for this series needs no introduction. I'm gonna do it anyway. She is an Ingles Shipbuilder first, but she also happens to be the president of Ingles Shipbuilding and the executive <laughs> vice president of HII. Kerry Wilkinson. Jonathan, thank you. It's a privilege to be here. Well, I'm absolutely honored that you took time to be with us in this series, and we're hoping to do more of these where we get to know the people who make Ingalls great. It's 84, almost 85 year history. Uh, you've been known to say that the people are the most important part of our business, so why, yes. do, you, why do you say that? Well, because nothing in this amazing shipyard, nothing happens without people. Uh, the power behind Ingalls Shipbuilding is people. And so um, if you look at the sheer scale of the operation here, uh, almost 11,300 people, the individuals that make up that big organization are absolutely spectacular. Well, it's fascinating to think about, like you said, the over 11,000 people who come to work here every day. And as a shipbuilder yourself, you're a dedicated shipbuilder, what gets you excited to get out of bed and come to work each day? So people <laughs> and the stories, but I will say that I think probably the most exhilarating thing is that no single day is the same. There's never a day without a challenge that you can work with a team and work through a challenge and feel a sense of accomplishment because the business is so complex, what we do is so important, right? So if you connect to the mission and the purpose of what we do here, um, it's just phenomenal. Why is that important, to connect to the mission? I know that that's one of the things that we uh, hold at a high value here at Ingalls, is Absolutely. shipbuilders connecting to the mission of building. I mean, they, they come in, they, they take pieces of steel, it gets welded, pipes put in, painted, all this stuff happens to create a ship, but if there's no mission there, so tell me about that. Why is it important for them to be connected to that mission? Yeah, well, I think probably because any day there are there are challenges that you're going to come across. I mean, shipbuilding is not for the faint of heart, right? It is hard. It's hard work. It's hard business. It's so important to the country. It's so important to our community. And I, I can speak from personal experience. It's always been important to my family. Uh, the shipyard has provided for me for 26 years now, over 26 years. And huh. so, you know, between paying off student loans and putting food on a table and, you know, buying my first car on my own, all of those things were enabled by this organization. And so for that, I have extreme, you know, gratitude. Right. But even then, it still, it connects us every single day. It connects us to something bigger than us. It's important to the country. Um, and, you know, there's not a room that I go into today where the customer doesn't tell us how important this work is. They would love to get the ships as fast as they can get them. Right. They need that capability. We need it as a country. And that's an exciting thing to be a part of. Absolutely. And you, you mentioned that that support that the shipyard has provided for your family, you and your family. And that's not an isolated story. That's mm -hmm. all across the shipyard. Shipbuilders have a very similar story. Uh, they, they all have unique stories, but this has built this sense of community here inside the shipyard and outside the shipyard. So why, what have you seen in that sense of community that has brought such importance to Ingalls? I think that, you know, every role is different, but every role is important. And uh, that, that sort of complexity and bringing all of those pieces together, I think that builds community in and of itself, right? And uh, if you look at a crew or an organ, you know, part of our organization, you sort of have that sense of community in that sort of very small sense, right? Mm -hmm. But then when you look across the shipyard, it's, it's a much bigger, whether it's a crew, whether it's a program, whether it's a ship, whether it's a, an entire division within Ingalls, you know, there are multiple layers of community. And, and being a part of that, I think, that and I spend more time here. You know, a lot of people spend more time here than they do outside. It's really here. a family. It's a second family here. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And so when you spend that time, that much time with people, and you, you learn to trust one another, I mean, that that's family. And and that sense of community really is something that I want to keep coming back to. Uh, it drives me. I feel compelled to do everything that I can do to you know hold up my end of the bargain for the people that are around me. Um, and and so for that reason, I just I think it's it's incredibly important. Well, and looking at your leadership style, you have been intentional, it seems, to bring that sense of community even outside the shipyard and go out into the community. You yourself are a very uh, thoughtful, engaged community member, uh, being on several boards, doing what you can in the community. Why is that important to you, to bring the shipyard outside into the surrounding community? 
I think probably first because the shipyard is comprised of people from outside in those communities. So there's that piece of it. I think the other piece too is just, you know, with being this large of an organization, um, doing the type of work that we do, there's a responsibility. You know, we put, we put, to your point, we put food on the table for a lot of families and, you know, we need to do what we need to do to continue that, to perpetuate it. And that's part of the legacy, right? Uh, you know, there were literally thousands of people that came before us and that, you know, sacrificed every day to do the hard work that happens here at the very important and purposeful work that happens here. And so holding up our end of the bargain in the community is part of that. You know, we have so many stakeholders, all the community that we just talked about is inside the shipyard, mm -hmm. but there's those same networks outside of it, right? The people that, you know, whether it's from a congressional standpoint, whether it's from uh, local community, businesses, infrastructure, uh, everything, childcare, all of those things work together to enable what we do here. And so we have that responsibility back to our community as well. Once they stand up and, and uh, support us, we need to make sure we continue to support them. Well, it's been such a staple in the community for 84 years. Mm -hmm. Now, every leader, whether they know it or not, I know you know it, makes an impact on their teammates, on their work family, if you will. What do you hope that the legacy that you are bringing to Ingalls will be? I think that, you know, years from now, if someone looks back on the time that I spent in the shipyard, I hope that um, my excitement around the business, my profound respect for the people doing it, I hope that translates. I hope it causes even one person to get as excited about it as I am and to feel as grateful as I do and as connected to the organization, connected to the community. You know, you give so much of your time and your effort over a period of time, whether that's six months or, or 26 years, and um, it's an investment, right? And so um, if, if nothing else, I hope they look back and say, well, there was a person that was really grateful, really excited to be a part of the team, really proud to be on a team that does this work and works through hard things together. Because I'll tell you, I haven't met a person in the shipyard yet that is not just spectacular. You know, each, each of them have a story. Um, you know, we all have a story. When you put all those together, it's the fabric of, of Ingalls. And, and to me, that's part of that legacy, right? We just continue to build it every day with all of the individual stories. And uh, there's not a day that goes by that you don't learn something about somebody that you're around that just makes you think about the world around us differently or even the world inside the shipyard differently. And so what are, what are some ways, or maybe just one way, that the legacy of Ingalls has evolved over the 84 years that it's been around that makes you excited about the future of the legacy of Ingalls? Well, I think, you know, from the work that we do, you know, there are some things that are very similar to many, many years ago, mm -hmm. right? There's some, there's some stability and some consistency in that. But, you know, with every new shipbuilder that walks through the gate, right, we have new ideas, a new way of looking at things, that diversity of perspective, of backgrounds, of experience, the technology that's, that's here today for us to use and to make things as not hard as they can be, because mm -hmm. it's always going to be hard. And I think that's, you know, for me, that's what draws me to it. Not everybody can be a shipbuilder. And that's I right. love that, right? It that's makes right. me so proud to walk through a gate every day and, and be able to say that. So I think, you know, the opportunities that that brings, the opportunities that, that, you know, everybody that joins the team brings to the table, those are really exciting. We're sitting here <laughs> in front of a gorgeous view of the shipyard. You can see everything laid out, the ships that are being built. When you look at that view and you think about that legacy, what are some things maybe that have stayed constant? We talk about the things that have evolved. What are some things that have stayed constant with Ingalls Shipbuilding that make you excited about the future? So some things that have stayed constant. So every single day you see somebody do something that you didn't know was possible, right? You, somebody tells you a story, somebody, um, you know, like I said, thinks about a new way to do something. And that innovation just proves every single day that there's, there's one thing constant, that, there, that there's creativity, there's talent, there's tenacity, there's all these amazing qualities in shipbuilders, right? That make them all unique and together so incredibly powerful. Well, it makes you excited to think about what the shipyard is going to look like 5, 10, 20 years down the road. Yeah. Um, very exciting time. I again want to say thank you so much for joining us on this one of our first uh, episodes in this series in Inside Ingles and we look forward to doing this a lot more talking to the people who make this shipyard so great so amazing thank you so much for well, joining us thank you for having me and I am so excited to see the, the stories you are going to uncover with this series oh, it's gonna be great it's gonna be great well we're excited to make this happen we want to thank you so much for tuning in for this Inside Ingles until next time I'm Jonathan Brannon showcasing the people community and legacy that make Ingles shipbuilding so great mm -hmm.